Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. Today we are going to assemble an emergency power bank which is lightweight and nearly 4000 mAh capacity. Subscribe to my channel for getting new videos like this. Also press bell icon so you will never miss any videos from my channel. This is the 18650 battery we are using in this power bank and it has 2000 mAh capacity. If you have more capacity battery with you then it will be more good. We are packing everything inside this PVC pipe. Without altering the PVC pipe you cannot insert 3 batteries inside this PVC pipe. I will measure you what is the diameter of this PVC pipe. This is exactly 4 cm in diameter. What we are doing is we will be inserting the battery like this inside the PVC pipe and will connect the power bank module to this battery pack. This is the power bank module and I will add the buying link in the description box. If you can get it in your local market then it will be more cheap. This is the battery positive and this is the battery negative. This module will boost the 3.7 volt to 5 volt. The micro USB is for charging and the other one is for discharging. Please like this video and share among your friends. If you do not have a hot air gun then for heating the PVC you can make use of your cooking stove burner or fire a piece of paper and bring the PVC into that fire that is also possible. We have cut the required length from the PVC pipe and for closing the both end I cut this piece from the multi wood. The advantage of using multi wood is the power bank module will be perfectly fit in the multi wood and applying the gum will make it more powerful and pulling the USB cable and inserting the USB cable will not move this module. We are parallelly connecting 3 batteries so the maximum ampere becomes 6000 mAh with 3.7 volt. Even though it is 6 ampere we can expect 4 ampere only because the module will use some ampere to boosting the uh, 3.7 volt to 5 volt. I do not recommend soldering the batteries but I do not have a spot welding machine with me. While soldering do not hold the soldering iron for a long time. Clean the terminals of the battery then apply flux or soldering paste and then take minimum amount of lead in the soldering tip and immediately touch and pull the iron back so the lead will fix in the battery terminals. Then wait for some time for the battery becomes cool then solder wire immediately and let it cool again.
the led is blinking which means the battery is charging when fully charged then the led will not blink now let us try charging my mobile i will pull off the usb cable and insert it into the power bank's usb female socket let's see what will happen you can see the mobile has started charging so our thing is working fine This power bank can charge a dead mobile with 4500 mAh battery to a maximum of 78%. You can increase the capacity by paralleling more batteries. The assembling has completed and you can start using it but its surface is not looking good. We need to paint it for giving it a very good professional look and feel. My aesthetic sense is so bad, still I will make a try. I have avoided black and silver paints. Let's choose from these three. Ok, now I will go with this blue color. See the LED, it is not blinking, which means the battery is fully charged. If you have any suggestions, please comment on this video. Please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this. That will be an encouragement to me for making new things like this for you. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.